One day I didn't know where to go and on YouTube came Colin Lego doing his Cornish food review show when the King of Crib had started. Amalia's walked off. I'm not doing it again. Amalia, I have one word for you today. Ice cream. Two, two words for kind you today. Of. Ice cream. When you think of Cornwall, what do you think of? Pasties. No. Seafood. No. Ice cream. Ice cream, yes. And we are looking at ice cream today here on King of the Crib. And I've brought with me my very own ice cream expert. Hello. <laughs> Amalia is the ice cream expert only because I don't really eat ice, ice cream. Ice cream connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yeah. We're going to be trying out some ice cream today because I had a message on Twitter from Gareth Morgan. Hello, Gareth. Saying that he reckons that a hedgehog ice cream from the Swampool Cafe should be on my list because it was delicious. The hedgehog ice cream is a family favourite of the Legos. My dad is a big fan of the hedgehog and so is Twitter, obviously. So we're going to head down to Swampool Cafe to have a hedgehog ice cream. Uh, what kind of ice cream are you after? Swampool have got their quirkies, they've got their mega quirkies. And we're hoping that the Nuts About Chocolate Quirky has a lot of chocolate in it, I would hope. I, I, fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. fingers crossed. Chocolate ice cream. I'm going for the classic hedgehog. So let's head down to Swampool, which is just down the road, uh, and check it out. Sounds good. Nice. So we're just parking down at the Swampool Beach Pay and Display car park. Uh, £1.40 for an hour, two hours, £2.70. No concessions for blue badge holders. Shame. Uh, I think it's a private car park, so there's not much the Beach Cafe can do about that. I've paid on the Just Park app. Oh, very modern, Colin. Anyways, we've just paid for an hour, so let's go and get some ice cream. Oh, how exciting. go and get our ice cream. So what I will say about Swampool Beach is there is a ton of activities you can come down and do down here. Uh, people are doing surf lessons, paddleboard lessons, you can hire kayaks, you can hire all sorts of surfing and paddleboard equipment. The people are out on boats. So yeah, if you're not coming down for an ice cream, just come down to Swampool Beach and have a fun afternoon out. There's loads going on. Um, the higher places are up by the cafe that we're going to go to now. And yeah, it just seems like a lovely place just to spend a lovely summer's afternoon. And then on top, you get a nice ice cream as well. Beautiful. So we're down here at the Swampful Beach Cafe. There is tons of people. Amalia is reading Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> giving a bit of class to King of the Crib. Um, we have decided to have one mega quirky, the nuts about chocolate. And I'm gonna go for the classic quirky of the hedgehog. So I'm gonna join the queue. Let's get our quirkies and see what it's all about. Straight in, vanilla vanilla ice cream from uh, Kalisic Farm. What, what? Mr. Whippy, actually. Oh, is it Mr. Whippy? Yeah. Just a Mr. Whippy. All right, okay. All right. All right. So, um, 
It's meant to be coming with two Kinder Buenos, just down one beforehand. Pretty good. Did it have two Kinder Buenos? Uh, yeah. And you just ate one straight away? Yes. Oh, great. Absolutely. Um, what is the, uh, the addition of a Kinder Bueno in an ice cream? Do we rate that uh, uh, instead of a flake? Mm. Mm. Well, me personally, I, I love myself a Kinder Bueno, right? Yeah. Um, and they're kind of they're kind of on the same level for me. As a flake. Yeah. Okay. So you know. Is it living up to the quirky name? Is this a quirky ice cream? Do you think? I don't know if quirky is kind of the right word, but I don't think you would find it anywhere else. So. Mm. You know. So the combination of the nuts and the Kinder Bueno uh, is that a good combination? Mhm. Mm mm. Sure. Um, because you know, Kinder Bueno is kind of it's got some sort of nut in it. Probably hazelnut. Yeah, hazelnut. Yeah. It's like along the same lines as a Ferrero Rocher, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, it comes with like chocolate sauce and stuff. So. Mm. Um, from the couple bites I've just taken, I think I'd probably rate this ice cream an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. And that, that's only because they didn't they didn't really um, serve it with any other flavour ice cream. It was just the Mr. Whippy. You're a fan of chocolate ice cream, and it was just the vanilla was the only option. Do you think it would have been helped by flavours like chocolate ice cream, toffee ice cream, that kind of thing? Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Very cold, which you'd expect an ice cream to be. If this was yeah. hot ice cream, we'd just have a soup. It would be a vanilla soup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hazelnuts are really good too. Um, I think they could have been drowned in a little more chocolate though. Personal preference. Mm. Uh. So I think what we're saying is it's an 8 out of 10 for the nuts about chocolate, quirky. Um, they could have had different flavour ice creams and it could have been a bit more chocolate sauce. Um, I'm going to try the classic hedgehog. Let's see how that goes as I go back to the cafe. There's a nice dog walking past. <laughs> nice dog. suggestions I have gone for the classic hedgehog here it is um, I suppose it's called a hedgehog because it's spiky I don't know um, so it has got uh, this is a Callistic Farm ice cream because it's a scoop it has hopefully clotted cream underneath there and then a ton of roasted hazelnuts honey roasted hazelnuts um, I've got a beard this could be messy <laughs> but let's give it a go right okay here, being dripped on Oh, cool. mm. Straight away, straight into a mouthful of clotted cream, which is quite, it's quite a lot to take in in one mouthful. The nuts are really nice though. Let's get to a bit of this ice cream. Mm. It's a good combination. So, the nuts are just ever so slightly covered in honey they're not too sweet so if you've got a sweet tooth it's not overly sugary and sweet you should go for one of the, like the mega quirkies which are just covered in diabetes <laughs> I can say that because I'm a type 1 diabetic the ice cream's nice Callistic Farm ice cream very nice let's get a big old chunk of this shall we oh, oh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I've got a nut in my throat is it worth is it worth £3.80? I'm not sure. It's the same question I had to ask of my old um, 
Mm. Sort of nut, nuts about this, chocolate. Nuts about chocolate? Yeah. Well, nuts about chocolate oh. mega quirky was £4.50. This is £3.80. Is it worth it? I'm not so sure. I'm going to say it's a 9 out of 10 for the ice cream. The only reason I'm marking it down is because I quite like a waffle cone and this is a wafer cone. Mm. I'm a bit picky, it's a bit picky, but I do like a waffle cone. There's a nice amount of ice cream to um, cream, to clotted cream. The ratio is very nice. The nuts aren't too sweet. If you're allergic to nuts, yeah, this is probably not for you. Um, but if you want a nice ice cream, it's a little bit different, a little bit quirky, this is good and uh, a lovely recommendation. So I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10 um, and we're gonna go over and sit on the rocks I'm going to finish my ice cream and we'll give the cafe here at Swampool Beach our overall rating. One last mouthful. You're well in Swampool. <laughs> We've had our ice creams. Um, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, I quite like mine too. I quite enjoyed it. Were they quirky? Okay, so if they were all right, like for example, because I had a mega quirky. A mega. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I would class it mega quirky. You know. What well, well, if they called you it would... the, the mildly different ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. The nice surroundings down here in Swampool, um, both ice creams had their pros and cons. The cons for, there's some children just shouting off camera. I, I apologize. <laughs> there uh, children. Um, both ice creams had pros and cons. The pros were they were tasty and a bit different. The cons were with the mega quirky, with the nuts about chocolate, only one choice of ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it would have been a bit better if it was in a cone. Waffle cone. Jumbo cone for a mega quirky, that's what they need to do. Just um, a suggestion. We're rating that a 9 out of 10. The uh, mega quirky with the hedgehog, the classic hedgehog, which was uh, viewer's choice. Uh, it was nice. It was really tasty. The cream, the clotted cream, super good. Nuts, really nice, not too sweet. And the Callistic ice cream, very nice. However, I would like a waffle cone, please. So I'm going to mark it uh, a solid 9 out of 10. The 9 for the Mega Quirky, the 9 for my Hedgehog, uh, which makes uh, 18 so far. And then we need to do a final mark for the whole experience. And I'm talking uh, the prices of the ice creams. First of all, the beach is lovely. Really nice uh, surroundings. If you want to come down to Swampool just for a little lunchtime uh, break, get some fresh air. You best mind the uh, swimming children with cricket bats. <laughs> there are a few feral children <laughs> with cricket bats beating feral. each other up. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, very nice it's surroundings. So good, it's so all good. good, it's all good. I did have to pay for car parking and there's no discounts for disabled drivers. Controversial. <laughs> that fly <laughs> that fly thought it was so the controversial. I got a fly. Got in your lip. What my a fly? <laughs> On your lip, mate. Where is he now? <laughs> 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 Gone. So apart from the flies <laughs> that attack my lip, the prices of the ice creams, it was £4.50 for the Mega Quirky, it was £3.80 for the Hedgehog. I think it's a bit, a bit too much, much, a bit yeah. too much. Oh, also, <laughs> yeah. also, we um, wanted a bottle of water and what we got was this. A uh, can of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's, it's, um, it's Jolly's. So. Yeah. Um, Jolly's is a classic Cornish drinks company. I remember getting limeade, cherryade from Jolly's back in the 80s. So I like the fact that it's Jolly's, but it was an expensive can of There's water. There's no need. So all right, let's say seven. Yeah. Seven out seven of 10, out of 10 for 10. overall. So we had the eight. 25. And eight and seven, is that 25? Yes. 25. The math genius says 25. Um, <laughs> Do comment. If you've ever been down here, do comment uh, on your thoughts on the Swampool Cafe. Lovely cafe, they do food as well and all that sort of thing. And if you've enjoy ever enjoyed a hedgehog or a mega quirky, do comment on the YouTube video, let me know. And also comment on Twitter, King of the Crib, um, or on YouTube about where you'd like me to go next. We're going to enjoy this can of water um, and the beach and some more Pride and Prejudice. And feral children. And feral children with cricket bats. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.